So we're expecting to see Inkling from Moscow. That's his uh, usual main here, basically because he's... Fair enough. They're similar enough in game plan to Melee Fox that that's, how, okay. that's who he's sort of comfortable and gravitated towards because there's a lot of, you know, strong areas, up throw combos. Depending on which um, which matchup you're more comfortable with in the moment, Ridley. I would put between the two swords. The Palutena is not ready. Okay. All right. So you catch what stage you went to? Nope. Okay, that's perfectly <laughs> fine. It's not that important. Yeah. Down. Okay. I know this is a really comfortable pick for Dogfoot in particular because he likes to push with Plasma Breath from afar and um, do a bit of dash and forth. He likes to, having space to move around because really doesn't have the greatest frame data in the world to be able to oppress a lot of the time. It's a good stage for Inkling as well. Run away and charge Inkling. Yeah, that's also true. Um, Inkling has the capacity to camp if they so choose with this yeah. stage's length. And, you know, space to recharge their ink and that sort of thing. So it sort of makes sense that this is the stage they've struck to. I would have assumed that Dogfoot would want a smaller stage though. But... Inkling frame data would press the crap out of him on a small yeah. stage. Like, he would have nowhere to run. He would have nowhere to run. Yeah. Oh, he had the read on the roll in. Just a bit early on the trigger. All right, typical up throw combos. Those work forever on Ridley. So it's a real danger for him to be inked up and getting grabbed at all. Ooh, good I'm morning. not sure about the rollers. Yeah, up that high. the rollers are a bit ambitious, aren't they? Yeah. Because like, I think at that height, they don't even bury, right? Yeah. Like if they're hitting the top of the model. Yeah. You have to be basically grounded to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As English has to be on the ground. Oh my goodness, the Sepi just whiffs entirely from that height. Silly short character. Yeah. Big there is not big enough. Yeah. All right. Oh, interesting sprinkling off stage to the pressure the ledge. So really not really able to do a whole lot to cover inkling recovery because it's just so good. Just as he say that. Absolutely never mind. <laughs> he has the perfect tool to cover inkling recovery. I wonder if he could have made that back by using the roller. He probably he could have. That. that could have been yeah. a bit of unfamiliarity with his own character in uh, this Possibly. instance. Fireball going straight through the sprinkling. Very clever. Oh, jeez. Tries to extend the combo. We got a bit of back and forth. Good punish. Didn't panic. But he seems to be getting grabbed very consistently. So I wonder if Dogfort needs to be doing less shielding and a bit more offense. That's, that's a bit <laughs> cheeky. I did not know about that. And Musket is reading his side B's from the ledge. So I know that's a big favorite of Dogfort's is to um, try and catch people, because people like to shield at the ledge a lot of the time, right? Yeah. So, come on, grab. Smart move. It is very laggy if it's red, though. Musket's not having a bar of it. And taking another quick lead. Continuing his jabs on the shield. I don't know about that. I mean, it fall, he fell for it, but always a risky play. There we go. Ridley versus Inkling advantage is, I imagine, a bit of a nightmare. The Ridley indeed. Yeah, he's not got a lot of options, and I'm pretty sure the window for that is, like, that's a pretty fake combo on a lot of good characters, but on a lot of bad characters, it just so happens that that works very consistently. Yeah. Also, Musket, again, I'm familiar with this character, you're not meant to up smash any character over 100 weight. Yeah. Because the initial hit doesn't pop him out of the ground, so it's not... But then Rid Ridley's big enough for it not to matter anyway. He's just yeah, big enough to hit, he, he was at high <laughs> enough. He was at high enough damage that yeah. it worked anyway, but... Um, or is Ridley just big enough to get hit by the up smash anyway? He's even grounded. He's huge. That is true, yeah. <laughs> I'm still I'm still surprised. I've seen that just... Yeah, I guess yeah. it is the size thing. Because I've seen it just completely whiff Inkling. Yeah. Uh, sorry, not Inkling. Um, Inkling completely whiff Yoshi being grounded with up smash because it doesn't pick him up. Yeah. Always too heavy. All right, we've seen the wolf counter pick as predicted by Jacko in the chat. Um, 
Not a character he practices a lot of the time, but not one you necessarily have to. Yeah, he's pretty played pretty simple. Yeah, he's just sort of, I'm gonna use my big hitboxes and good frames <laughs> and oppress. Like, he's a very fundamentalist character. You just sort of press the buttons and it sort of works. Ooh, I actually like that up smash trying to catch a landing because that move is so like weirdly disjointed. It'll pick up a lot of people doing anything ag like aggressive on the landing. Stop the back here. Yeah. Strong hit with a kill for sure, even center stage. Oh, what's the punish? Good DI, not dying for that too early. Alright, so he seems to be racking up damage very quickly and consistently in the switch now. Oh, he's got him! Just do it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just land aggressively sometimes. Who cares? It's fine. Okay. We got ledge traps. Neutral get up shield seems to be a common option for a dog fort here. He seems to be getting caught a lot of the time. Ooh, good recovery again. Ah, landing aggressively. Okay, he, he made it back to stage only to be sent off again. But he cannot be killed. 190 is not a percent you want to see on Wolf. Like, that's a yeah. character that can rack up damage so effectively. And, you know, especially with Boss to go on the defensive if he has the lead, that you do not want to let him live for too long. Yeah. That's a problem Inky will have in this matchup, since she kills pretty late most of the time. Yeah, a lot, pretty, a lot of the time. Pretty standard. Yeah? If you don't get the roller, yeah. 190, 200. If you miss your up throw up air and you don't yeah. get... If you can't find a roller, then yeah, you're going to struggle. Back air is at like 180, 190, which is the best option. <laughs> To be fair, that move is very easy to land. That is an absolutely silly move. I'm amazed at grab whiff. That's so silly. Grabs suck in this game so bad. Ooh, continue to shield pressure. Caught him jumping. Straight in. Another aggressive landing. Nah, not the percent. I know uh, even on like fast fallers and stuff, that window is actually quite small. Yeah. It's only like the big fatties, like Ridley for instance, where it's actually pretty uh, easy to land. Ooh, quarters jump. Good ledge trap. Let's do it again. Yes. There. That would have worked if we did it earlier. <laughs> Inkling duck dodging that Nair entirely, and he's dead. He's been edge guard. Alright. Uh, let's see if Dogfall will actually be able to find this kill. Oh no, he's run straight into jabs. This is where you get steamrolled. Won't kill yet. Oh, great fair. Really. Excellent catch. Oh, not going for any combos. That's an interesting choice. He can get a uh, down throw dash attack for a clean 25%. That was like not useful against this flat bomb. That's so unfortunate. All right. Must get missing his text a lot of the time. Wolf can really do a lot for a tech chase. Oh, good lasers. Nice. Caught him shielding too often. I mean, Dogfo is suitably scared of the roller at this sort of percent, so I understand why he's shielding so much, but he is getting grabbed awfully often. Oh, this is his back air on landing. Anything will kill from Inkling at this sort of percent, surely. Maybe not up to it. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> one of these people. I mean, 
Oh, down throw, surely. Uh, down throw probably wouldn't have done that either. Down throw. I don't Bad think. Bad DI, maybe, but. Uh, Wolf is not that way. He doesn't know. Oh my goodness. Oh, I should have chased him. Oh, uh, yeah. he went for the F smash and just got caught too early. Muscat with a 2 0 over Dog Fort. Bit small upset on that one. Alright, I better go play a set. I might need to as well.